my involvement with queer youth programs affects my relationship with my peers because I'm always trying to bring in and trying to let my peers know about the things that are happening within the groups that I work with. So with the GSA that I work with at Mission Hill. So letting them know about some of the kind of trends that I'm seeing within that group and the way that, ki that middle school students are kind of wrapping their heads around LGBTQ issues and just kind of examining that from the adult perspective and thinking about what that means going forward in the future and how we can support those students. So my being the GSA advisor at Mission Hill affects my relationship with the other teachers because I'm kind of a source of support and as kind of a sounding board. So when something happens in class that maybe a teacher isn't sure how to frame something or how to approach an issue, they come to me for support so I can support them in, in framing it the right way so that other students can learn from it and so that other students feel supported. Um, and when they have ideas about what our GSA can do to make it better for other students, they come to me. So it's, it's helping form a partnership that makes the school a better place. I think that my school could do a few things to make Mission Hill a better place for students, especially LGBTQ students, by first being really open and honest about being an ally and what that means and never shying away from conversations or teachable moments where you're actually able to address an issue that might come up in class. And I think being really forward about being an ally and that you support that and I think is the most important thing that we can do. I began to realize that I was queer friendly probably around age 21 when I started getting really into politics and I come from the Midwest where support for LGBTQ anyone is not very open and so as I became more political and I started seeing other kind of social justice causes I realized one that this was just huge and and was particularly important to me so as I kind of became more political and got more involved with activist programs, I think that's when it really took off for me and became the most important social justice cause for me. It's tough to choose a favorite movie, but I'm a huge Wes Anderson fan, um, mostly because of his use of perfect symmetry. It just blows my mind every time. And I'm, I'm really into the way that he does all of his sets and how he is so precise in what every, everything he does. But probably Moonrise Kingdom or the Royal Tenenbaums are my favorites. My favorite color is seafoam green. Um, I love that color. I always buy things in that color. And when I think about why, it's kind of hard to pinpoint it. But I think the biggest reason is that it reminds me of the ocean and of the sea. And as somebody who moved here five years ago from the Midwest, the ocean was the biggest selling point for me. And, and that's the thing that keeps me grounded here in Santa Cruz and the thing that I love the most about it. So it, it kind of reminds me that the ocean is part of my life here. And it, it's just kind of a happy thing.